Hey there, David Lyon here, founder of Evolving Men and Embodied Creators. So in this video, I want to address the question that I have asked myself for many, many years. Um, and you know, a lot of people I talk to have as well as how can I find the things in life that are truly pleasurable to me? How can I find the things, the practices, the people and so on that bring me real enjoyment in life? Um, and just noticing that it can be quite challenging to find these things. So I can tell you from my own life that um, until I was maybe 18, 19, 20, uh, one thing that I tried was simply doing what everyone else is doing. Um, so doing the things that seem to be pleasurable to other people. And so at different ages, that was different things. It was maybe drinking a lot of alcohol or uh, going partying or uh, playing a kind of sport, whatever it is, just observing like, well, what do other people do if they want to have a good time watching TV maybe? Um, and then believing that, well, okay, so if I want to uh, be happy, if I want to experience pleasure, then I have to do these things as well. And so at some point I realized, well, those things don't make me happy at all. So uh, I embarked on a different journey, on a more, I guess, spiritual one um, of connecting more deeply to myself, understanding uh, a greater connectedness to everything around me. And so uh, in that process, I adopted new ideas of what is meant to be pleasurable for me. And so that was more about doing a lot of meditation, doing yoga, fasting, um, being out in nature, whatever ideas I had of what was supposed to be spiritual. And so I started doing these and I tried to do more and more of it because uh, that was supposed to be good for me, right? That was meant to make me a better person and so on. And also on this journey, at some point I realized, well, fuck, this is not really working. Like maybe sometimes uh, meditating would make me feel better, um, but sometimes I would actually feel worse or I would do two hours of yoga and feel kind of proud of myself that I did it, but not really feel better in my body. And so over the past, let's say five years, um, it's been a big part of my journey to really explore what is pleasurable for me in this present moment and realizing more and more that as long as like it comes from an idea of what I'm supposed to be doing um, rather than how does it actually feel to me in this present moment it's very easy to um, to fall off to do things that I think uh, I should enjoy or I think should be pleasurable but that are really not um, and just to give you a more recent example I'm just coming back from a festival um, here in Austria where I uh, got to hold a workshop with my partner on the topic of boundaries and embodied relating. It was super awesome. Um, and what I observed on this festival is that people were uh, hopping from one workshop to the other. And, you know, many of these workshops were quite intense, like, the, you know, like holotropic breath work or dervish dancing or uh, some kind of yoga practice or ecstatic dancing, like lots of stuff that can be cool. Um, but my sense was that for like for a lot of people, what they would actually have needed uh, would have been rest and slowing down because uh, they were already overstimulated, but still they were jumping from one thing to the other. Um, and of course, if you're in a setting where everyone is doing that, it's kind of hard to do it differently. And it was a very interesting practice for me to listen. OK, when do I really feel like engaging with one of these workshops and when do I feel like doing something completely different? And the tricky thing is that not only uh, is it not really helpful to have ideas of like, oh, this, I should be doing this, I should be doing that. Also, no one else can tell you what is pleasurable for you. No one else can prescribe you like, oh, just do this and you'll be fine. So the practice is to trust more and more your own experience, which is a pretty scary thing to do because Sometimes what's pleasurable is uh, doing something that you might 
look at as unhealthy or unspiritual or that just goes against some kind of idea that you have not productive enough like sometimes for me uh, what feels really pleasurable and healthy and good is uh, watching some kind of tv series or just resting or playing a computer game and so to uh, arrive at that place of liberty of allowing myself to do these things um, and of noticing in my body okay does that actually feel good or not uh, has been a very big step of self-empowerment of actually trusting my own experience more than some kind of external authority that says whatever uh, I should be doing to advance spiritually become a better person be more productive blah 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 um, or any kind of self-imposed ideas of what I think I should be doing to feel good right so there's such a big shift that happens when you move from doing things out of an idea rather than doing things from a felt sense of like how is that how does that make me feel and look sometimes you will try something out and you will realize through the experience well that really didn't make me feel better and that's okay and then you learn from that and you adapt but um, that kind of surrender that happens when you start listening more to your own experience of what does actually feel pleasurable right now and you can apply that to all areas you can apply that to sex what feels actually pleasurable to me right now is it some kind of rough fucking is it like being super subtle and sensitive is it like being really physical um, but maybe not so much focused on the genitals um, you can also apply to food what feels really good and nourishing for you is it uh, you know something vegan and super pure and raw or is it uh, a lot of animal produce that maybe gives you some grounding or is it some kind of junk food right like it takes a lot of trust to actually listen to your body um, and let yourself guide it by that over time even if sometimes you will be wrong, even if sometimes you feel an impulse to do something, to try something out and you think, oh yeah, that's what I want. And then you learn like through the experience of like, well, that really didn't make me feel better. Over time, you will, um, well, I can tell you from my own, own experience that the, the kind of connection to your own body that happens from there and the kind of um, trust and um yeah just connection to self maybe kind of brutal honesty with myself of what is actually pleasurable and what isn't even if you know for everyone around me something feels truly pleasurable and they're really enjoying it and for me it doesn't i can stand my ground i can honor that that's just not where i'm at and so uh it takes kind of like a releasing this linear thinking of our mind because again sometimes things will feel good and pleasurable for you that you may consider uh however you want to call it low vibration or uh not very evolved or whatever and so in these moments if you can allow yourself to do those things to actually evaluate well did that make me feel better or not <laughs> you're gonna advance much faster than if you try to follow some kind of abstract spiritual idea that doesn't actually work for you right like if something feels really pleasurable and there are no like bad long-term consequences that's a sign that you're getting some kind of nourishment that you were looking for and so the more that you follow that track the more you will arrive at bliss and at real pleasure and it may look very very different from what you think it looks or from what you think it should look like no one really knows how pleasure looks like for you and i really encourage you to explore that to try it out to trust that your body will tell you what feels pleasurable for you and what doesn't. Now, let me know in the comments if there's something that you've done ever uh, where you were really surprised how good it actually felt to you. Would love to hear some of your examples. All right, sending you much love from beautiful Austrian countryside and talk soon.